know, there's a lot of guys around the league that we talk we talk about wine now, and we'll go out to dinner and and do do a couple bottles. Everybody will bring their own bottle, and you know, we just have conversation. Over. I started tasting different wines and it took a while for my palate to actually give in to it because it's not a, uh, you know, your first time drinking wine is not a, a very, very lasting taste. Uh, like my daughter said, uh, before I let her try some of my wine, she said, it tastes like rocks. <laughs> and I gave her some very, very, very good wine too. It kind of grew on me. I figured out what I like, learned more about grapes, learned more about different weather and, and how that affects the taste. Now I have a 600 bottle cellar. When I moved out to Portland, you know, I found out about like the wineries and stuff. So I kind of, you know, everywhere I go, I always want to dive into some of that culture. I love Pinot. So anytime I can get my hands on a Pinot, I do for sure. I'm into, uh, you know, the Cape bread Merlot. Uh, I like a lot of that stuff. Uh, I like a lot of red. I'm like overflowing with knowledge right now of just like different wines. Yeah. You know, I guess I'm a rosé kind of dude too. You know, I don't know if that's really, you know, the typical wine, but I'm getting too old to really do some strong islands, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I guess uh, it, it just comes with age. But. I'm taking tours, I'm learning more about what I like with certain meals, and it's become a lifestyle, and as a competitor, it's a challenge. Learning about another field, learning about wine, digging deep into it, trying to educate yourself, it's, it's fun, it's a way to escape from you know, your, your normal day to day. The number one reason why I got into wine was Andrew Bogut, a uh, fellow Australian. When I was a rookie with the Lakers, and he was with us, uh, he, he had me taste some Camus wine, and ever since then I've really kind of really been on wine. I think the biggest thing that I'm looking forward is obviously, um, you know, the boldness. Put it in a phrase up, really crisp and plain, but if you like that sort of lush fruit character, you can always drink this at room temperature and that's what you get. Yeah. yeah. This is nice. Another essential is my wine case, and I can't go anywhere without it. 2013 Promontory Napa Valley red wine. Here, I'll actually take it out of here. It's a cab. 2013, and if you know me, you know that if we're together, we will always eat well together, and maybe even more so, we will drink well together. And more likely than not, it'll be wine. I collect the corks, I kind of put them in either a Nike box, like I put a lot of my things, or you know, I'll put it in an open decanter that I have that I put these in. So I like to take also Polaroids, and I use the Polaroids to kind of mark the moment and mark the year of the wine and that sort of thing. So wine plays a big part in, in my everyday life. Actually, the wine culture in the NBA has become a pretty pretty big thing. You know, some guys have made their own wines. Uh, I know that Yao Ming has his own wine. I've had his before. I've had Dwayne Wade's wine. I know that Channing Fry. I've shared a lot of wine with him, uh, Richard Jefferson, but uh, going back to Channing, he actually is in the process of creating his own wine. So there's a lot of even younger guys adopting that, but I'd like to think that I was one of the, uh, the early adopters on, on that tip, so. Yes. <laughs> I'm just doing what he does. In my opinion, it's good. I don't know what I'm really tasting for. Getting this? Look, you know what? Can you see that? Look. See that right there? I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me see so you can zoom in. When you zoom in, you see. S A S S I C A I A. I'm part of the brand. Says the guy, best wine in the world. Y'all need something, don't call me. Call Mark Warburg because he put me on too. He might put you on. He probably won't. But that's, that's just besides the point. I got into wine last year as a rookie. Had a lot of veteran teammates and on road trips, we would go out to eat. They would always get wine, so I was kind of like forced to drink it, and I kind of really got the taste for it. This is canvas I had. This is also a good one, which is cake bread. You can tell like cabs. Cabs are kind of just like great with, I eat a lot of steak, so, you know. Pretty much drink wine every single day. 
it's healthy for you. They say a glass is good, but sometimes I go to two. Two glasses because you're taller, right? So. That's what I'm saying. Like that's for like somebody at five seven. I'm six nine. So, <laughs> Channing, say something about this uh, Dwayne Wade wine. Uh, has wonderful notes of almonds. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some uh, some delicious. <laughs> hey, uh, Richard, say something about this three by Wade wine. Um, wait, what year is this? Wait, is this that year? Oh, it's 2014, California Red. Oh. Hey, Tristan, say something about this uh, uh, great Wade wine we're having. That's great, man. Ooh. Make sure the legs dance. Mm -hmm. Make sure the legs dance. Ooh, it's tart. It's tart. Ooh, it's tart. It's tart.